Anthony Pinozo. The Dr. Pinozo Sports and Medicine Hour will bring you a new technique to resolve painful issues throughout the body. Dr. Pinozo has worked with over 65,000 patients over 40 years and has developed a revolutionary approach to pain treatment. His treatment allows fast and effective treatment of pain without narcotics, surgery, and physical therapy. There is no manipulation or alternative approaches. Weight bearing and the return of normal range of motion without pain is the best kept secret this man has to deliver. So get ready to call in and ask all of your painful questions and get the answers you've been looking for. Now, here's today's edition of Dr. Pinozo's Sports and Medicine Hour. Good morning, South Florida, and welcome to another show with Dr. Anthony Pinozo. First, I want to say, Doc, how you doing? I'm good. How did you get in on my show? I don't know. I walked in one day. You said you were looking for a host. I said, what the heck? I'll take a chance. I what is your Sunday. name? My name is Bob. <laughs> but you can call me Les. How's that? How you doing, everybody? Uh, we have our producer, Freddie Santori. He's also one of the, uh, is the owner of Amp2.tv. That helps make all of this possible. Freddie, how you doing? Very well, very well. And I want to remind everybody they can see the good doctor on Pinozo.tv. Yes, that is. And we know there's a lot of people that are tuning in to see this gentleman. Doc, before we get started with anything, okay. I, I have, um, you know, uh, Freddie and his team of experts put out the question about golf. Uh -huh. Tiger Woods is coming back, okay? So now, Bob from Port St. Lucie, I hope you don't mind taking this question right off the bat. He says, I heard you say that pain can be removed by removing the inflammation around, let's say, for example, the leg. But can you honestly tell me that you can remove all of the inflammation on my lower back and increase my swing. And by the way, why hasn't Tiger Woods called you? That's that's what he wants to know, Bob. We don't know either. <laughs> well, uh, the selection of who takes care of you is uh, in your own mind. I mean, you have to justify it for yourself. Mm -hmm. I think that um, when he goes to uh, surgeons or chiropractors, I mean, I think he lost. And I know he lost because you know he lost also. Where is he? He's not able right. to play. Surgery should not be done for lower backs, feet, or hands because you need mobility there, especially as a golfer. You need uh, that back to rotate, mm -hmm. and it cannot when it has a scar tissue in it. Surgery is the last thing you ever want to do for a lower back. Absolutely. And wasn't that if the first thing he if did? If you're a golfer, yeah. it, well, I don't know. Yeah, he did the first thing with surgery, right? First thing was surgery on his leg, and then, then the lower back uh, started. And none of it has been successful i heard no. that his swing is worse than ever yeah yeah it has to be because he's got the scar tissue there and and we've talked about this a long time in order for that club head to make that circuit around to hit that ball every part of your body has to work in sequence now if you have a pain or scar tissue or a uh, rotated bone or something you're mm -hmm. not going to swing uh, some guy called me up the other day and he said uh I'm calling you about the golf school, but I don't want. Uh, I just want to know who your professional is, teacher. That's, that's I said, well, that's the last thing you do. You have right. got to have the medical first. I said, it doesn't cost you anything, but at least we'll tell you why you can't swing. Obviously, if someone's going for uh, lessons, mm -hmm. they have a problem in the medical. You have to think that way. If you don't think that way, you're list you're missing the boat that I'm trying to tell you. Right. Uh, and once those are uh, examined for. And correct it. Now you can go to your instructor and he'll teach you how to play the game. But they cannot teach you how to swing the ball. They just can't because they don't know the physiology mm -hmm. of the swing. I mean, this is, I'm not making this up. This is the way it is. This is my business. I am a physician in this area. So um, that's why there's so many failures. I mean, a lot of you uh, just waste your money because you're going there because your swing changed. And you think the instructor is going to change your swing. They are not. They're going to give you another problem. So let me ask you a, a question. So uh, when a golfer comes in, you know, every day we have different people uh, tuning into the show. Yeah. How, do you, how do you diagnose that pain? A guy comes in and says, you know, Dr. Pinozo, I can't bring the club head all the way back. What's wrong with me? Well, we already know what, uh, uh, what uh, is involved there. Right. So we examine you from your neck to your shoulders, your mm -hmm. between your shoulder blades all the way down. And uh, no one could do this because... Uh, it's not been done. We did it. We know uh, from uh, the practice I have, which you've had for 45 years, right. uh, where pains originate from. All I did was take that knowledge and attach it to what's required in the golf swing. 
Okay, so, so now you, you have the inside out. You know how a sw- uh, golf swing occurs and what affects it. So mm-hmm. we can fix that, and we do it every day. We p- put you on film before we treat you, and we put you on film after we treat you. And you can see uh, afterwards that there's no pain there. Your swing is full. And then they t- and, and that. And I'm not kidding, people. I'm not kidding. This is absolutely true. And then the patient, we ha- I know you showed me some videos where you showed me the before and after with the swing. Yeah, those are the research videos that we did. Right. And that, that's amazing. And they were all, all true. I mean, these are just people off the street. They right. said, where is your pain on your swing? We fixed it. Where is your pain on your swing after that? They don't have it. So and it's, it's right there on the film, yeah. 10 so some, minutes apart. Yeah. I mean, you're not talking about weeks or months. No. You're talking about 10 minutes. Right away. Yeah. Right away. 10 minutes. Uh Something else that, uh, which is good, I have another, it seems that everyone was talking, evidently everyone of you people who are talking about golf and sending us in information, you can call us up and we'll be more than happy to answer your, your questions on, on the phone. And the number here is the hot number that goes right, direct in here, and Dr. Pinozo could answer it. It's 877-927-6969. And today we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be free and easy today. Call up about any question. <laughs> And here's Anything. another, here's another uh, Paul, you know that name, from Boca. He said, I had swimming injury on my back when I was a teenager and now have severe back pain when I play golf. The doctors tell me, oh, you're going to love this, I have a bulging disc. <laughs> what does that mean, and do I give up golf? And, Doc, before you answer that question, a lot of people get that word bulging disc, yeah. disc and they freak out. They think yeah, my it life doesn't, is over. It doesn't mean a thing. It doesn't mean a thing. It comes from the MRI. Who's reading the MRI? Radiologist. Does he treat any of this? Absolutely not. So when people have an MRI, they shove it in my face. They say, I have an MRI. I said, so what? (laughs) It doesn't tell you anything. They do not are unable to diagnose. A bulging disc and uh, subluxation, which they call, uh, what do they call that? Uh, Subluxation of the bone. Right. Stenosis, they call it. Those are all buzzwords. They don't really mean you have to know what how that happened. And as far as a bulging disc is concerned, uh, you have to think about facetal problems also because that's what produces that. Um, the, the disc is not a disc as, the, uh, as you interpret it to be. It's a ligament. It's a ligament, the same one that holds your elbow together, your shoulder, or your knees. It occurs between the bones of your lower back. And what they call a bulging disc, I have no idea what that is because it doesn't, you, it's not treatable, in other words. It's a buzzword. You should not take that seriously. Mm-hmm. Anybody who has to get an MRI does not understand where your back pain is coming from. We never order those. And the reason is I know where your back pain is coming from, so what's the purpose? We do special films mm-hmm. that are patented, by the way, right? and uh, unavailable anywhere else. That's, You're the only one that does it. Yeah, so it's the, these are engineering studies uh, to tell me how you're swinging so that we can go back and tell you... Uh, Left, right, up, down, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, one, uh, facet or annulus, as we could tell you uh, there, and why it's there. So we do a great job on that. Yeah, I think what's uh, so amazing is, so I I guess what I always want to know is why then are people so stubborn about coming in to at least letting you meet with them you know, like I always say, make your make your first opinion, your second opinion, your first, and give you an opportunity. We well, show because them. Uh, because we're told by their professionals who are treating right. them that that's not possible. He's lying. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That is not true. We are I, I know what I'm just told you is true. <laughs> I know. People say that about me. Right. But they have never met me and not interested. It's purely financial to them. Right. If you refuse a um, uh, another opinion, not that you have to do anything about it. No. But if you refuse another opinion. Who are you saving? You're saving the guy who failed you, not you. You got to think this stuff through. You know, who's telling you don't do that is providing money for his own pocket. Well, I sure the you heck would rather not go this. for surgery. I mean, huh? you know, I, I know Especially, people before I met you that have gone yeah. for surgery and they're worse off now. Yeah, the worst ones are physical therapists. Really? Oh, they'll treat you forever. And then when you fail, they'll send you to an orthopedic surgeon to get you operated so they can. Uh, treat you more. Well, yeah, that brings up a point. They I, have no way to diagnose any problems. They're not trained that way. And here's a brochure I just got. Right. Uh, they have uh, arthritic conditions. Can't that's a, that's a non sequitur. That doesn't mean anything. 
neck and back injuries. What are you talking about? You have to know how, how to diagnose that. Right. Aud, auto and work injuries. You have to know how to diagnose that. You can't just treat these people forever, which is what happened. Gait dysfunction. You got to know what makes a gait. You got to know. What is a gait? Is that the, uh, a certain it's way? It's walking. You... Yeah, okay. walking. You have to know why a limp is a limp. You have right. to know a lot of things. You can't just diagnose that. These people are technicians. They cannot diagnose everything that's in this brochure. They can't do it. And um, uh, hand therapists, they have. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, they're offering things that uh, are not possible. I'd right. like to follow them around and, and uh, point out their failures because you never hear of it. Well, you told me a story once. You uh, you owned you owned nursing homes. Yeah. And yeah. And you you would send people, uh, you would find out where the pain was coming from, and then you'd write the script. Now you had told me a story, if I could say it, you just tell me, where you wrote a script to a, a rehab facility, and they turned yeah. it down, and you, and they wouldn't do what you want. How do they? Ju how could they do that to a doctor that specializes in where the problem because is? Because if they quit, that institution's in trouble with the federal government. Yes. And Medicare will decertify them if they don't have that physical therapist. But see, there's oh. no protection for the patient. Right. The right. patients are being mistreated right and left. I know that because I'm an expert. I designed my own rehabilitation facilities. I owned 500 beds until right. I, I didn't want to deal with it no. anymore and uh, made my life simpler. <laughs> <laughs> it was either own 100 of them or just sell, nah, the, sell the two need. I have. So that's what no, I did. That's, that's good. But, um, but right now, uh, it, if you have a diagnosis like uh, L4-5 facet syndrome, the right. therapists have no treatment for that. That's what I don't understand. Their basic philosophy is um, uh, you're painful because you're weak. Right. There's no justification for that. Absolutely none. There's only two reasons why you can be weak, muscle disease or nerve disease. And most of the time you have neither one of them. And right. I mean most. Right. So that you have a pain. Now, they don't know where that pain's from. They're unable to diagnose where that pain's from. And so the doctor he, doesn't know who, who sent the them The doctor who no. sent them there doesn't know right. either. He wants them to play with them for a while. I've heard general practitioners tell me, oh, I'll let the therapist play with them. I said, what are you talking about? You don't let people play with somebody's no. life? You don't do that. No. Uh, uh, Frustrating. This is all information for you, people. Just think about it. I know it. you get really upset I'm about not, this. I'm not naming any names or anything. It's no. just a philosophy we're talking about. And you have to think about these things seriously. If you're treated in any place more than two weeks without appreciable benefit, you are in the wrong place, including my office. Right. But in my office, that will never happen. Why? Because we treat you. We take that pain out the same day you're there. And that's why I want. That's why I want to let people. Yeah. You treat. You guarantee to take out the pain that they came in with. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And how do we do that? We do that very scientifically. Right. We have a good history and a good examination, so we know what movements make your pain. So when we treat you, we redo that. And if you don't have it, then you got successfully treated, right? I oh, mean, you know, it's no brainer. This is the way it is. And we got a guy sitting right there that doesn't want to come back to you because you fixed his pain. He's looking for another ailment that he, that you can no, take no, care of. <laughs> I gotta go back to this game. I got new pain. Yeah, we, we gotta get you. New, we gotta get people to get new pain, or else the doctor is gonna be in business. That's yeah, right. But yeah. that's that's the thing, doc. You do have new pains. I mean, I'm a human being. Uh, absolutely, I have, of course. Uh, absolutely. But we only have six uh, chairs in my waiting room. Yeah, so and they're usually always filled, so you have to go and through the back door, friend. No, they're not filled. We don't want them filled. No, yeah, I know. In other words, we don't want people coming back. Once you're treated, you don't come back. Yeah, we hear that from a doctor saying he has one of patients. Well, yeah, I'm I'm too old for this stuff. No. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we well, want to treat you out of there, tell other people to come in, and then that's how we make a living. We don't make a living by treating people no. more than two or three days. No. That's it. No, and I look, you did that. You did that with uh, a my. You just had another migraine case. I was talking about the first one. Yeah. You had. Talk about this one. I mean, this uh, well, just this blows is, me away. Well, this is a forty-three-year-old lady who had migraines for uh, I think it was five years. I mean, a true migraine. Yeah. Uh, for me, there is a particular place that causes a migraine headache. Neurologists don't look at it that way. They look at it as air, blue sky. They just mm -hmm. treat you with drugs. They don't even, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a crying shame. Yes, what, it is. It's a what, terrible what thing having These drugs are expensive, and they don't work. So we figure this out, and um, uh, on this particular lady, we uh, find out what was primary, what was secondary. Mm -hmm. You have to know that, and then we put a shot in, and it took me two seconds to do it, and that headache left just like that. And, and, she'll, and, and she'll never come back? Will not come back. No. Uh, could be the other side, but not the, not right. the right side. It was the right side that uh, we treated. 
So that's the way it goes. Uh, I mean, we're not messing around. I mean, we rarely do the job. And I know it's like and to suffer from migraines. This is only one of a kind in the world, and I'm not kidding you. Right. You read the literature, you don't have any clue that this could be done. We looked at it based on the 45 years of treating painful problems mm -hmm. and figured out where it is. Basically, a headache is a symptom from somewhere. You have to know where it's from. We figured this out. We treat it directly. And uh, by the way, not many people have migraines. It's a particular location. So most people just have a bad neck. So it's not in their head. I mean, it's a, a migraine, even though the pain is in the head, is a migraine doesn't emanate from the head. No, there's no head there. It's a referred pain. And they always put their hand here, here, right. here, here. Uh, the, the same lady with the migraine had TMJ also. She also. Had a, she, so we took care of that also. Yeah, but um, she didn't even know she had that. No. She didn't well, the boy that came in didn't know he had it. He fixed that, he fixed that yeah. the next day. Well, a lot, of, a lot of people screamed at me last week. I got to tell you, yeah, he, he's I got a lot of heat from yes. the things that we said last week. Mm -hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, so that you understand, the doctor's giving you a choice. He's telling you that he can diagnose and treat the cause of pain. And that the pain you're having is an end result of something that's going on in your body, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, absolutely. And he's not saying that he can cure every illness no. in the world. He's saying that he can remove the pain, the things the doctors are treating differently. Right. If you'd rather have surgery, God bless you. I wish you the best of luck. Yeah. That. But if you want to try something, what are different. you getting the heat about? I was just uh, telling my experience. Well, you know, people you know, like you and I talk in the office. People are skeptical, and what you've seen, I have seen with my own eyes, as Freddie has seen. What amazed me more than any two things amazed me most. All about right, you, you got to look at it. You got to look at this the right way. Okay. You know, you have to be a logical thinker. Most people aren't. There's too much emotion in in, uh, in criticizing Freddie. Yeah. Too much emotion there. If you're being treated without improvement, what does that tell you? <laughs> Doesn't in work. In my office, it tells me I don't know what I'm treating. That's what it tells me. What should it tell you? The same thing. You got to say, well, the guy who's treated me doesn't actually know what's what's wrong with me. Otherwise, I should improve. You should improve right away. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no question. You don't have to be treated six months before you see an improvement. That's correct. Yep. You got to be treated one day, two days, and you got to see improvement. If you don't, my best advice to you. And I'm trying to be a good friend, not only a well-known physician, and I'm, I'm an expert in my field. Believe me, I'm an expert in my oh, field. Oh, yes, we know that. I'm giving you good advice. If you don't take it, the heck with you. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's your body. I don't care. <laughs> I'm a firm believer of, uh, of the quality of life more than the quantity of life. Yeah, we're not chasing anybody. No. Uh, if you want the service, we'll give it to you. Well, the problem is that people get frustrated because they've been enduring the same pain over and over and over yeah. again. They give you a painkiller. Mm-hmm which doesn't heal anything. That pain is still there. As soon as that wears off, it's twice as bad. But you know, Freddie, I think people know that when they take the drugs like that, it's because they want to. Mm. Well, Doc, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I've been experimenting with all sorts of stuff. I've been using what, the, the different machines and things, everything else, to see what the deal is. And uh -huh. it does remove pain for about five seconds. Man, but when it comes back... It's just as bad, or no, worse. It's worse. Yeah. It hurts okay. a lot worse. Let me, let me tell you about this the whole field. There is no drug in the world that treats a source of pain except aspirin. Correct. And steroids, prednisone. Those are the only two that actually treat the source. Correct. The rest do not, so why take them? It doesn't make any common well, sense. I, I'm trying to understand when people yeah. say to me, oh, they gave me this, they gave me that, and I say, okay, so I take this, I take that. Yeah, the, latest, mean, one is, uh, the latest one is uh, Lyrica, pre -gabalin. Yeah. I mean, that thing, you read the, read the stuff that comes with it. It only affects the brain, does not affect any feet pain, diabetes, or anything else. And by the way, uh, neuritis doesn't act that way. The, di uh, uh, the diabetes uh, neuropathy? Uh, peripheral neuropathy does not act like the way. There was a lady, I was watching it this morning. I went, oh, every time I see that. It's shooting pain. There is no shooting pain. It, uh, if there's shooting pain, then it's got to be local. Right. got to be in the foot itself. And otherwise, all you're getting from neuropathy is a dying back. That's the definition of it. Mm. Dying back of the ner actual nerve tissue. So all you have is a decreased sensation. Right. There is no possibility of having shooting pains and uh, pregabalin or Lyrica is not a painkiller. It affects your brain. Right. So you don't want that. You don't want that at all. So I let, me, so let me get this right because I have 
of their lack of sensation. Uh huh. Is that lower back? Because my back is killing me. Well, it uh, uh, if it's both sides, it's neuropathy. Yes, both sides. Yeah, it's but does that come from something that you heal in the foot, in the back? In no, the you can't heal that. That's the, that's, that's, be that's there. neuropathy. Uh, the back pain we can treat that. Any pain we can treat. Mm -hmm. We can't treat the lack of sensation because the nerves are dying back. Wow, that's sorry. That. Wow. So now you heard it. There's something I can't do. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, if you okay, can't do yeah. it, I mean, that's the one thing about him. He, he, if he can't do it, he'll tell you he can't do it. Yeah. So you're stuck with pain. No, no, I don't have pain. Oh, good. Okay. But this numbness is <laughs> kind of funny when you put your shoes on. <laughs> yeah, oh. numb, it's, uh, I, I feel for you. I wish yeah. I could do something about it. Wow. Yeah. That's what I have. Now, he took away the pain in the back. And you're an inch and a half taller. And, and my arch um, came back. Your came arch back. came back, yeah. But I can tell you, it's a painful process when it's coming back. Yeah. Really? That's yeah. right, because the scar tissue is holding it flat. Oh, okay. So as it eases off, okay. that stretches a little bit bam, 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 until that arch comes back. And this happens all over the place. People call me up and they say, oh, I had this really bad uh, pain in my back yesterday. I said, how long did it last? So a couple hours. I said, that was your stretch out. It's not coming back. That is an improvement. We planned for that. And uh, that's the way true it works. You, you, yes, it's, it's a true. big story. Yeah. yeah, true story. I mean, I, I got to tell you, though, it, it feels better to be able to move because when you were in pain, you can't work. Oh, yeah, you can't, especially all the stuff that you carry. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. treating back pain is not that uh, simple. We have simplified it because we've seen so many. I've, I must have seen 40,000 backs. You know, I mean, it's just an incredible number. And we treated every one of them ourselves, myself. We never sent anybody out for anything. We did our own films, we did our own treatments, and we did our own analysis of where this pain was. And we developed all these nice sy uh, systems that we have that uh, give us the uh, location. Mm -hmm. And then we take our special film for it after that, and then we treat it right in the spot. So we try to do everything. Some insurance companies don't understand that. They're being run by yokels, I guess. They I have no idea. They make a lot of money, insurance companies. In, 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 well, no, they're losing. I, I, Actually, they losing. They saw you. They make a lot of money. Yeah, when they see me, they're uh, saving money because sure. we don't get an MRI, which is $1,000. I mean, we treat you for under 1000 <laughs> I mean. What more do you want? Well, let's keep that thought in. We're gonna take a we're gonna take a little break now. And give yeah. Dr. Pinozo. He's he's so he, you can see the passion in his, in his voice, and we'll be right back in about two minutes. Thank you so much. Have you ever had a business idea that you thought would be a great solution to tough challenges in today's world but have no idea of how to get started? You don't want to waste investment money on ideas that just don't work. Introducing Health and Wealth Seminars, a sophisticated advertising agency with over 40 years in the ad business. What makes Health and Wealth different from other agencies is that they fit your product into the public's need. They help put together the strategy of your business before you commit thousands of of dollars just to find out that those ideas don't work. Health and Wealth Seminars carries advertising contracts, radio and television contracts, and even a production service contract that will cover all of your business needs. Call today, 954-303-9563, and let Health and Wealth Seminars carry your business to the next level. The number is 954-303-9563. And remember that what happens when you don't advertise is nothing. 954-303-9563 is the number you need to get your business started in the right direction. You're listening to Dr. Pinozo's Sports and Medicine Hour with Dr. Anthony Pinozo. If you have constant pain and want to talk about how to get rid of it without surgery or medication or simply want a second opinion, call Dr. Pinozo now at 1-877-927-6969 to get your pain issues resolved. And now, more of Dr. Pinozo's Sports and Medicine Hour. We are back. Uh, if you want to speak to Dr. Pinozo about any kind of thing that we were talking about today, you can call the hotline at 877-927-6969, or you can call him at his office on Monday, 561-381-5800. That's 561-381-5800. So as we left off, we're going we're gonna to do something different that probably no one has ever heard of before. We're going to do a challenge. If you have a pain and you've gone to either a chiropractor or an acupuncturist or any of those doctors, we would like you to call up the hotline 
and talk to Dr. Pinozo at 877-927-6969. And, Doc, one of the things that's always kind of amazed me is I would hear, uh, I, I saw an, an, uh, an ad in, in one of those Penny Saver magazines about an acupuncturist who listed a whole bunch of things that he could do. He could cure your golf swing, which made me laugh when I saw that, and he could cure scoliosis, and, and he could cure migraine headaches by acupuncture. Now, I know that that's not true. I mean, there's no documentation that they could prove to me by putting things in your... It is true. I've studied acupuncture. Oh, good. Okay, so talk to me about that. <laughs> Didn't I tell you about the story? About <laughs> no, no, no. We talk about a lot of things, but, you know, I want I to spent, I spent a lot of money. went to New York to hear these uh, acupuncturists, Frenchmen. This is mm -hmm. before it took off in this country. Right. And uh, I, I always sit up front. So I was sitting in the second row, and I could see the stage and everything. And they brought the patients out and started doing acupuncture and uh, did not have a diagnosis. I knew what the diagnosis was based on what I heard, right? And they didn't have a clue, right? All right, now if you don't know what the diagnosis is, what good is a treatment? You, I mean, it's a hit and miss thing. And so uh, I said, there's no science here, absolutely whatsoever. And I studied the yin and yang and the, all the meridians and all. Right. Hey, I know all about that. And um, I even bought the needles. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you... I did it a couple of times in the office just to play around with it, but it didn't work. Cause, uh, but I had a better diagnosis, so we right. treated We never cheated anybody like that. No. So acupuncture cannot treat any of that. None of it. And they can't prove it. They can't prove it. Now, let's, let's go back. We prove everything we do. Well, yeah, As a matter we... of fact, I was just telling Freddie okay. that, uh, that on our system, uh, when we uh, do these shots in, in the back or... Uh, uh, we actually have before and after. You can actually see the bones right turn. That's amazing. Uh, and that tells me I got to the right scar right. tissue. If I don't see the turn on there, then I go back in and get it. Because uh, when patients uh, pay for this, they deserve the best they can get, and I'm going to give it to them. What amazes me most of all, and I think it amazed Freddie also, when we, when, we saw, when we actually saw the before and after of a person that had scoliosis. And people, why are people saying that they can't cure scoliosis unless they put the rod in there? That's got to be the most painful when a woman at that age. Surgery is a failure of treatment. No one should have a surgery of that magnitude. Yeah. It is brutal. Oh, I could imagine, especially when, at our age. I get sick whenever I think about it. And those people come in my office with the rods in. And have all this pain, so I've got to treat and treat and treat. And we're successful at it, but it's uh, really not necessary. There should Amazing. be no surgery for scoliosis. Chiropractors do not know how to do this. Right. Physical therapists do not know how to do this. Uh, it is. Uh, we figured it out because of all the experience we have, and uh, so we can do that. And you'll see the change right in front of your eyes. We have people who, uh, coming in there, and they get taller and taller every time I see them. I mean, it's, it, it, it's the most amazing thing. It is. I, I have grown an inch and a half. Ah, did you measure yourself? Yeah, inch and a half. I tell I everybody. I, I tell everybody. <laughs> is that what your shoes are off, shoes. right? Your shoes are off and you measure, right? Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. What do I got? An inch and a half shoes? <laughs> yeah, uh, folks, what you're hearing is true. Yeah. I mean, we're not it's making a true story. Right. No. I mean, I always get caught when I lie, so I never lie. No, watch. <laughs> well, I mean, we've. you know, it, it's amazing. I yeah. always tell people, look. I'm going to start on your scoliosis treatment. Now, I want you to go home and measure yourself on the wall with a pencil, right. and you're going to see yourself grow. You'll grow two to three inches. And uh, a lot of times they don't do it. I said, did you measure yourself? No. I well, didn't measure yourself. You got to happy that they know, could show see. me that, uh, you know, we're doing you some good. I, I think we're going to put a measuring piece in your office, and we'll measure them as part as of they the come out. Happens. Okay, we could do that. But, so, you know, I'm touching gonna... something on what Les is saying, 877-927-6969. If you've been treated for scoliosis, challenge us. If you've been treated for scoliosis and you have those rods in there, we want to hear from you. We want to hear how you feel. If it's good, if you're happy, we want to hear. If you're in pain, we want to hear your story. Especially uh, people who we've treated for scoliosis right. that are straightening up. They got to tell people that it's possible to do that. Actually, when we treat you, we show you everything right then and there. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a marvelous piece of equipment, and um, amazing. I saw that. And it, it shows everything that we're doing, and we point it out to you, we even teach you how to read an X-ray. I mean, it, it's a good program. They're educated when they they're yeah. educated when they leave, which is something that yeah. all patients should be educated before someone does treatment on them. And you don't do any narcotics at all. No, 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 no drugs. In so fact, no, nothing at all. No, no drugs at all. It's amazing. I mean, you know, it's it's uh, when I first met Doctor Pinozo, I said to myself, Nah, this can't be. And the people in the office were swearing by, oh, I've been coming. Guy was telling me a story. He started with you in a walker. No, no, he started with that scooter. 
<laughs> went from a walker, went from a cane, now he's walking normal. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, isn't it? When you think about what, I mean, you should really feel proud of yourself when you look in that mirror in the morning and say how many people you've Well, that's why we went to the time and expense yeah. of this show. This is information you're not going to get. No, it's if you keep amazing. going to the normal thing, general practitioner, physical therapy, orthopedic surgery, you have lost right. the dropping your level of care until it's so bad you want to get operated. Don't do it. Come and see us first. Physical therapy has nothing to offer you. So I'm also, I, I also want to put a challenge out to all you patients that have gone to chiropractors. I know chiropractors is something that... They have that, nothing to offer either. No. See, I, it all depends, and it's nothing against these individuals that no, I'm talking about. I'm talking not. about the system where you need a diagnosis to treat. You, you don't have a diagnosis. If you don't know where that right. pain is, in detail, I mean in detail, infinite detail. For instance, you know uh, how big the scar tissue is that holds a scoliosis? No. It's less than an inch. It's that big, half inch or less. Really? Quarter inch, that's all. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. You have to know where it is, and we know where it is. Anybody doesn't believe that, you come by and see me. I'll show you. I mean, to me, why go, why go through all that pain? Now, when chiropractors, uh, I'm not going after uh, chiropractors. I'm, I'm really not. I have nothing against chiropractors because I've never used them. But how can you get rid of scoliosis by a manipulate or a headache? A lot of people are coming with migraines, and it's, they're being treated for over a year. You can't because By you don't know the source. You right. need the source. And then, How can you treat a cancer when you don't know the source of that cancer? Right. Don't they take a biopsy? Don't they right. look at I mean, there's a big thing going. But yet you can go with a headache and be treated forever for it. I, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. So what we have done in my field, I've created a musculoskeletal system right. of diagnosis and treatment. And this is a no-hit, no-miss situation. The history is great. The clinical exam is great. The films are great. The treatments are great. You do get the results, we promise you. And if you don't come in, it doesn't affect my fortune at all. I've, no. I already made my money. I don't <laughs> need to work. We just... <laughs> We're doing this because it's fun. It's educational. And I've been in education all my life. Right. I mean, from uh, 17 years old when I went to college. Where'd you go to school, Doc? Uh, in Ohio. Ohio State University. Yeah. Great school. Great That's school. That's a medical school. And... Um, at the time, we had the best, uh, I think, the best uh, residency there was because it dealt with musculoskeletal uh, pain and the mm -hmm. diagnosis of it, which is the electromyogram. Like, for instance, I did th 3,000 of those tests in the three years I was a resident. Wow. I mean, if I had a chance to stick a needle in somebody to see if they had a nerve injury or not, I took it, you know. <laughs> so uh, that's the kind of residency that was. Now you... Uh, translate that into uh, uh, clinical work in the office. Right. I was also offered two professorships at different medical schools wow. that I could have been. But I said, no, nah, I want to treat the patients. I don't want to teach uh, residents. I mean, it's not my thing. So what's, uh, I think what's also amazing that when you make an appointment with Dr. Bills, don't be surprised when he, when he <laughs> answers the phone. What, what made you do that? I mean, no doctor does that. Well, because uh, treatment of painful problems is a combination of the doctor and the patient. We have to work together on that. As a there team. is no third party. Right. You have to work together. You have to be able to describe your pain, where you get it, and all that. And I have to be able to diagnose it on that basis. Right. If your history is too general, I'm going to tell you. You're not leading me on. You've had this pain so long, right. kind of localize it for me a little bit. So then I could tell which level of the back is bothering them or neck and uh, be able to treat that. Now, here's, a, here's an article on uh, shoulders, and I've been saying for mm -hmm. years that you should never have your shoulder operated. Right. I know that. Yeah. Even if you carry a diagnosis of a rotator cuff right. tear, <laughs> right. which I don't think even exists. I know. Anyway, here's an exact <laughs> article about something that doesn't exist. Really? A rotator cuff tear. And uh, this is from Sweden. Okay. And that says right here, Journal, Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery, uh, May of... Uh, May of... Uh, May of... <laughs> May 2nd, 94. Anyway. Wow. These are rotator cuff tears. Conclusion. In consecutive series of patients who have been offered repair of an isolated symptomatic supraspinatus tear, refusal of operative treatment resulted in surprisingly high clinical patient satisfaction and no increase of the average size of the rotator tear three and a half years after recommendation. So did it go so away? in other words, <laughs> asymptomatic people. Okay. But... It's very hard to get a tear of a tendon like that. How in the world could that happen? You, you'd have to lift 
five tons with one arm before you it would rip out, and really? you don't do that. No, there is no way to get a rotator cuff tear. Right, you can get a you can get a pull on the bone, which is a sprain, but you can't get a tear. There's no way to do it. There's no blood in order to tear a rotator cuff. You have to have blood mm -hmm. because it's muscle that you're tearing. Right, or pulling out of the bone, which is highly vascular. Right. So that so you got to have blood. You never have blood. All you have is a pain. So when I examine somebody, we uh, find out it's uh, usually never, uh, hardly ever, the rotator cuff, like they're describing here. Right. The reason these people improve is because it's not the rotator cuff. Oh, okay. So okay. they don't do anything with it, and it's just there, it just and they improve away. anyway. Yeah, well, well, they do an exercise. And right. Usually it's ligaments, and it's usually around the bones. It's not the rotator cuff. It's like that cuff. word tennis elbow. <laughs> but if it's, it is a rotator cuff tear, right. the way I do it is it's a, it's a tendon bone connector. Yeah, you have to think about this in a proper way. Don't put a label on this. Rotator cuff tear. That don't mean anything. When you have a uh, pain uh, lifting your arm like this, on TV you can see me. <laughs> <laughs> the side, that is a rotator cuff right there. Right. All right. Now, if you can isolate it with your finger, you can put a small shot in there, and it wipes it out and does not come back. Really? That quick. I'm I'm serious. This what is, amazes me. This is the way we treat this. Is it none of this stuff comes back? They don't come back to see you. It like, does not come back. No. I mean, a guy had a, a two, was it, two shots of a migraine. Had it for, since he was twenty uh, for twenty eight years, and it's gone. Yeah. So it, that tells you if you're not if you wrote if your location is not correct, then your result is not going to be as good as you want. So when they give that epinephrine, that that just Clouds it. So I put a band. Epinephrine? Is that an EpiPen that they shoot in the leg for? What is that they shoot in the leg now for, for uh, migraines? What? For migraines? Yeah. I don't know, but oh. stay away from all that stuff. Yeah. Stay away from Botox. Uh, Botox, uh, any kind of manipulation, any kind of physical therapy. Just stay away from that stuff. It's not going to treat it properly. And they put the Botox in the head. Is that where yeah. they put it? They put yeah. it in the front lobe. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Why are they doing that? Blocking the pain? It's dumb. It's dumb. Wow. This is why I talk to people on the phone. When I make an appointment, I expect them to show up, and I expect it to be cogent, very quick, very accurate, and out of there. And then usually it's one or two days, and that's it. But according to those Botox sh shots that Frazier said, Doc, you got to do the rest of your life. It's every three months you got to do them. Well, so because it's not muscular. Right. So You're treating the wrong... You're the wrong system. So how do we get people to understand there is a cure for something? If you've been suffering from migraines all your life... It behooves you to come in and just talk to the guy. I don't know. My office should be flooded with migraine people. And well, you cure them in, you cure them in, the, in, in Well, the ones that, that come in are cured, but, uh, you know, people don't come in. They don't believe it. They, much, they like their drugs. I don't uh, understand. How much it. Botox can you put in the brain, in your head? What's going to uh, happen? I don't know, but there's side effects of that stuff. There Botox, is. yeah. They say but why do it at all if trouble. it's not the right system? Don't treat the, the musculars, the muscles, when it's not muscles. Right. That's strange. People, people, we'd be very strange. They're the craziest thing. You see things. how good we are? We figured out it's not muscles. Muscles do not cause pain. Muscles are a protective mechanism. Right. The pain is from somewhere else. The muscle spasm you hear about, that's only to protect you from motion because it hurts to move. So, therefore, you get stiff. Muscles make you stiff, but that's not causing the pain. Pain is underneath that. It's more complicated than, than what you're hearing. The therapist and the chiropractor, they, they have the wrong idea. Right. Sorry. So taking, what do you know? Someone just hung up. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, whoever hung up, you can call back. When we get into something, you got to wait a little for us to finish. Yeah, we're going to have to put uh, shot in his finger because he seems to always miss the call. <laughs> call no, up. it wasn't me. I, you know, they, I guess people, look, folks. Call when up. Dr. I, is I in, won't bite. No, no. When he's in one of these grooves and he's so passionate about it, you can hear it in his voice. <laughs> so whoever missed that call, 877-927-6969. Or if you'd rather call Monday and make an appointment, it's 561 Three eight one fifty eight hundred, and don't be surprised if you see Freddie there. <laughs> yeah, Freddie will be there. You can't miss Freddie; he's always with the camera. To, uh, you. Well, people enjoy the show; they think it's uh, informational, and uh, when they come in, they tell me that. Yeah, yeah. and well, we the bottom we... line here is they come in and yeah. you change their life. Yeah, and the, and the scary thing is that a lot of people will argue with me, or well, he can, he can, he can't. So I said, okay, come with me. <laughs> they won't do it. And they won't do it. No. <laughs> they rather live in pain. I, I just don't get it, Doc. Well, well I don't want a shot. There's a secondary okay. benefit. How long did it take me to convince you to come in and get a shot? No, I, 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 the second week. I, Remember. I, 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 it took me two weeks. Yeah, but I, I, I know what you're talking about. <laughs>
Remember, there's always a secondary benefit when somebody does, refuses something. So what's a secondary benefit? And they stop. I oh, told you, folks, don't call them up. So we're going to take a break so Dr. Pinozo could take the call. Right. Hold on. We'll be back. Please welcome a new sponsor to the show. It's Amp2 TV, the first and only internet network that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full-service internet television production company, discover Amp2 TV, a full-service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development, and they use all the latest platforms to help make your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes and live streaming, as well as take productions. Let Amp2 TV handle all of your television production needs. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies, including Comcast, Bravo, and Fox 29, as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more, visit their website at amp2.tv. That's A-M-P, the number 2, dot TV. Or call them at 1-866-224-5422. That's 866-224-5422. Dr. Pinozo is a world leader in helping those who have tried everything to get rid of pain in the body. When surgery or pain medicines aren't working, Dr. Pinozo is here to help. Range of motion increased over 65,000 patients The Dr. Pinozo has helped. And now he's here to help you. Call the show now, 1-877-927-6969, and let him help you get on the road to pain-free health. We are back, and now we're going to go back to what our original thing was about the golf swing. Uh, Doc, Bob said, I bought some heavy, heavy-duty, expensive golf clubs the other day, thinking it would increase my distance. I have heard your show, and now believe that if I can swing hard enough, what difference does it make what club you use? Uh, yeah, well, he's on the right, uh, right I'm thinking. I'm guilty of that. The yeah. thinking is correct. It doesn't matter what club you use. No. How much do the clubs change? They over really the years? don't. They don't change that much. They change an angle here, angle there, but they, they're they still the same thing. And um, uh, here's a golf digest. Okay? okay. And I get this every month. There is never anything in it about how you do the swing. It's always about the golf head, the golf clubs. Look, here's... Freddie, you got you this, one? this no, one? No, Freddie's yeah, got that. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Yeah. You can see that golf yep. uh, golf clubs. They're selling golf clubs, and uh, they're selling. Um, what they're doing, uh, doing is giving you um, uh, experts like this. Uh huh. These experts don't know how to how why their swing works. No, and, uh, they and have the, no idea. Yeah. It's a medical problem. That's why. Well, it's a nice picture. Mm hmm. So another. So in other words, so I understand this being a golfer could only go back as far as he can because of pain that's emanating from either his back or his shoulder. Now, who makes the, the that's right, who makes the um, uh, uh, the winnings of all these things? They're all the younger people. Yeah. Why is it the younger people? Kind of analyze this. You get a 12-year-old who has unfettered swing. It's beautiful. It's normal, natural. And the older you get, the less of that you get. Right. Okay. So when you're in your 20s, mid 20s, the uh, early 30s, you might have a terrific swing. But after that, look at Tiger Wood. Yeah. When he was young, he had a fantastic oh, swing. God, what happened to it? Got older. He hurts here and hurts there. Scar tissue in the uh, in the lower back, neck, knees, and all that, which is treatable uh, on my, our methods. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no surgery. You just treat it, and uh, we know where these pains originate from. But um, yeah, when you're when you're young, you could do this, right? Well, look at that look at that young golfer. She was uh, 11 years, 12 years old. Hits a ball, goes goes back so far that she's almost touching her her other foot. That, yeah. that 11 year old. Yeah, when you uh, if you yeah. if you watch the golf swing, I don't have any paper to illustrate on. Do you have something? Okay, good. All right, I'm going to show this to you in a second. Okay. Explain uh, it because we're on the radio, Doc. Yeah, but he wants, he wants, yeah. Yeah, he wants it to do on his TV show so people could see. We already have that. But you know, you know what the thing is, uh, Doc, is that okay? When you're when you're swinging, you you want that uh, club head to hit that uh, ball, right. and it's going to go this way, right? Right. All right. So this you want your, it to go distance. This is your shoulder. Right. 
parallel. Now, on the younger uh, golfers, when you uh, go back and hit that ball, after you hit that ball, you uh, finish this golf swing, your shoulders are here. Well, what is here, Doc? You got to describe it. I'm going to show you. You, show know, you. you got to describe it with the radio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, the shoulders are per perpendicular to the line of flight. That's Correct. It. You can see that, can't you? Yeah, I can yeah, see that's it. That is correct. Yeah, it <laughs> you is. can see it. Yeah, I see it. Anyway, the shoulders are perpendicular to the line of flight, and before they were parallel to it. Now, how do you get your shoulders to do that? Well, it's a complex mechanism. Sure. There are many parts in there that do that. And the older you get, the less Hardest. able you are to do that. Hardest. So yeah. now you're bringing your shoulders in. Now you hurt your shoulders. So now you have two problems. You have between the shoulder blades and you got the shoulders. Now you bring your neck in. Now you got three problems. The golf pro is not going to teach you anything about, about that. The they don't know skeletal. about it. And it's nothing against what they do. No, they're the art but of it's, golf. It's against what they know. They know the art of so, golf. So uh, anyway, all you golfers out there, I'm telling you, if you don't come in and see us, you're going to waste your money on golf instruction, and you're going to get nothing for it. And, uh, and up to almost 40 yards, you can, uh, up to almost 40 yards, there are people that could gain. You that's, gain 10 yards, you're a happy guy. Yeah, that's 120 feet, but we, yeah. have, we have done that. Now, Doc, you can still see a golf instructor after, they, after you take care no, of them. No, we're not taking anything away no, from the exactly. golf instructor. You're let them, them, hey, they let can. them do that. That's Be fine. Because if you free up the swing that no, that young lady has, the golf instructor job becomes easier. I don't know how to t teach someone to hit so that it goes a dog leg. If you want it to go to the right, you can actually do that. If yes. you want it to go to the left, you can actually do that. But don't do it by accident is what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, it's like these young golfers that can get yeah, the ball around the tree. You put, uh, you, they can teach you how to put spin on the ball. Right. That's not a medical problem. No, it's not. That's the art of golf. The medical problem is to get that golf head from here to there and hit that ball and then have a, a good follow-through pain-free. Pain right. free, by the way. Right. No surgery is ever needed or required in golf. Because they don't need it. Why, why go for it? And that's not going to improve their game if they yeah. still have pain. Somebody told me the other day that Tiger Woods worse than ever. I said, how did you know that? The patient was telling me. Yeah. I said, well, I, he had some kind of sore size. Well, uh, what they're saying is he, he, can't, he can't get that, that momentum back the way he was able to hit that ball. And, right. and, and, and it, sometimes right. he'll try, they're trying to change his swing. Right. You cannot change the swing. No. Because now you've got two problems. Yeah. You want to get back to normal. Because all these instructors, when yeah. they see it, they try to change see, the swing. See, when I treat somebody, we try to bring them back to normal motion. Right. Normal range of motion. And uh, if we can't do that, then there's something wrong, and I have to work at it. Right. So, But we do that. That's the goal. Same thing in the golf swing. You, we have to bring you back to normal range of motion. Right. So you can swing that club head from here to there with no pain. Well, let's, let's talk about, Mike says, talk about pain. Mike from Boca says, I've seen your show for weeks and have wanted to call in. How can I reduce the lower back pain I have when I reach back to drive a ball? My instructor says it's my balance, but balance doesn't cause pain. Am I correct? That's absolutely correct. Your instructor should keep his mouth shut. He doesn't know what he's talking about. No. Well, I said, Mike, I, I suggest <laughs> if you took the time to, uh, to send us a, a text, why don't you call Dr. Pedozo on Monday and talk to him about that, 561-381-5800, and then you can start playing for more money. You know, it's like uh, like the, the, what I've told you about this therapy group. They're trying right. to treat balance. You have to know a lot of things before yeah, you can that's, treat that. It's a very complex thing. And when somebody throws out something like that out, like it's your balance, what the hell are you talking about? I don't know what about? that means. Excuse me. No, you can say, hell's with that. What you say? I mean, you got to get away from those people. Well, we did it anyhow, Frey, so we'll, we'll, we'll stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the bottom line is if you really don't know uh, what's going on, then keywords is what triggers sales. Yeah, well. I mean, that's, you know, when you use words like bone on bone, then you mm -hmm. use words on. And people argue with you, I have bone on bone. Yeah. I mean, at the other radio station, you treated a bone on bone right. candidate right. who was a major league pitcher. Right. And they told him bone on bone, so they stay with him, and it's people a, don't change. Yeah, it's a buzzword. You can, uh, what we do with our fluoroscope, we could actually show them, and it's not bone on bone. Right, exactly. And then when you show them that, they're going to say, wow, oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but are you and, showing me that, Doc? No, my whole brain say, is now They've been the inundated by these buzzwords for years and years and years. Exactly. And the orthopedic surgeons thrive on that. They'll look at your knee while you're walking in. Oh, we can replace that knee. It's bone on bone. And it, 
Where do I get these stories? People tell them to me. That's why I don't imagine them. They're telling boom, boom, me. Boom, disc. And right. uh, disc, there is no uh, no knee that should be operated. Now. Well, we tell that story all the time about uh, I brought in a guy who, who was supposed to go for two knee surgeries. Uh, he went for one. I said, before you go, see Dr. Nozzle. He came in, I think, he, 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 two shots and didn't go back to the surgery. He's running. And you yeah. always have problems? <laughs> the knee that was the surgery. I'm, I don't mean to laugh. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's not nice. Why are you laughing about it? Because, you know, I said to him before he went in. Yeah. And right. he went in anyhow because his doctor referred him to this author part. Am I saying that yeah. right? Yeah. And I part. Yeah. I brought him into Dr. Pinozo and. He said the only pain he has now is on the knee that was operated on. And they, they said that in, in the uh, Journal of American Medical Association, that most knee surgery should not have ever been done. Oh, I agree. And this, is, and this is something bigger than me. I think none of them should yeah. be. Well, now everybody's saying that, Doc. Especially ACL. There is nothing to treat there in ACL. Well, the NFL makes a fortune I mean, that's, in ACL. Oh, my God. That's what it is, the ACL. It's, nobody they're ever, back, nobody they're back now in three weeks. Nobody recovers from it that. It used to be six months. <laughs> now they're back in three weeks. I don't get it. How's that happen? Major miracle medicine has changed. I don't. I, I don't even know why they do it. Because it's only it's this long. It's only dollars. an inch. Yeah, but you've charged the clubs a lot of money. Oh my God! The Doc, trouble. you know what we should do? We should offer two services. One you that you do, and the other one I'll operate. It's the same difference. <laughs> He said, "I charge sixty thousand dollars in operation." We should off tell them that they should have another opinion. Yeah, absolutely. That's all we should do. And have not, another opinion. I mean, this is really funny. Think, people. you got to think. This is an informational show for you. Somebody comes in my office and says, I had five opinions my knee should be operated. I said, who did you go to? Five surgeons. I said, please, they all operate the same. They're all trained the same. You don't want a, an opinion from a surgeon. You want an opinion from somebody like me, and I'm telling you, you don't need it. I mean, you got to think a little bit. This mm -hmm. is your health. I mean, uh, and I see people make a lot of mistakes. And, and some then, mistakes you can't come back from. And they that. suffer from it, yeah. You know, that's just, that's the part that kills me. Yeah. yeah, it's a shame. They'll come and see you afterwards because you're in so much pain. You take uh, out the pain, but they should have seen you before. That's right. Well, that's what this whole show is about and everything else we do for Dr. Pinozo is to get people to understand that there are alternatives that actually do work. And we're talking about a, a doctor who is a real doctor. He's not, you know, he's not a, a DO or, or, or uh, t took a couple courses in acupuncture. He graduated from a prestigious college, and he's developed this thing over many years. Was it 45 years ago you started this? He's a rookie. He's a rookie, and he's, yeah. it's a good thing he's young. <laughs> I'm going on my second 50. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. That first 50 was the easy one. It's always that second 50. You're not yeah. there yet, are you? No. You're on the first 50. Yes. Oh, you're good. Okay. We, 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 All right. Here's, uh, here's another card. Oh, finish high to hit it high. Sometimes up and over is your best bet. Here's how to do it. Tom Watson. Right. Great, yeah, you great can golfer. See that on great TV. golfer, yes. You can see it on TV. Great golfer. To execute the shot, I use one club longer than normal because I'll lose some distance with the higher trajectory flight. In other words, he's not telling you why you lost it. Right. Well, he's, he's telling, telling you, he no. hits it too high. He's telling you to use a longer club, which yeah. is not going to do it, I don't think. Well, you know, it doesn't talk about the free motion. That girl that you talked about. Yes. My goodness, she looks like a rubber band. Unbelievable. She because she's young, that ball, 11 years old. She has no. 275 fear? yards. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, she's gradually going to lose that, and yeah, her instructors are going to curtail it to control it better. And um, and then uh, as she goes, see every time you have a that you turn with force like that, you're putting uh, pressure on your uh, ligament structure. Right. That's what ends up being stiff. So if you know where it is, you can treat it. If I you guess don't know where it is, yeah. you can't treat it. I guess that's why they all have swing coaches. They all have swing coaches. What do the swing coaches know? I'm telling you, and I have nothing against them. No, I think I don't they're think wonderful that. people. But I think he's helping them. Yeah, he is. Actually, you, you go, you, I'm you, giving them an insight. They ought to well, take Well, if I'm it. a golf pro, and you yeah. bring a patient of mine or a client of mine, and now all of a sudden they have free swing, yeah. I can work with more. Yeah. No, they don't look at it that way. But no. they should. They should. They That's what the show's about. That we will teach you how to use thing, and it might take us 10, 12 treat, uh, uh, treatments to do that. Right. Well, I mean... <laughs> The onus is on the patient sure, or the client because you can always say, well, you're not doing what I told you to do, and that's what happens. And you know what's funny? Every, every so they lose customers. Yeah. 
Yeah, but if somebody could swing, they're going to keep that customer for another two or three or four visits. Yeah, because there's more things that they could teach them how to get out of a sand trap, how to get over water. I mean, no, that's true. Well, this, you're working with more strength, right? Yeah. Because you have more mobility. The Correct. mobility is a key, and this is new. Uh, uh, if you don't know about this, uh, invite me over to talk. I mean, I'll talk to anybody. I'll teach them how to do yeah. all this. You it's... offer that challenge to the uh, golf pros also, I know. Yeah. And again, you're not replacing the golf pro. No, you want to help not. him no, do this? No, we're, uh, we're increasing the ability to use a golf pro and to increase the uh, awareness of the industry, the exactly. golf in industry, because the more people have success at it, the busier they're going to be. I mean, I, I don't play anymore. I, I can't keep up with it. I work all the time. Yeah. So there's no chance to uh, practice. But there are those who have, uh, you know, been retired, and, um, you know, they, they should play more. If Les was a golf pro, we could say we have a golf pro, but this guy's no. Thinks. We want to get a golf pro and show him what we could do. Hey, you know, it, you know, it, it's true. What you're saying is all the golf pro, they all have swing coaches, and every time they're having a problem getting the club back, these professionals, the swing coaches change their swing, and that's what's ruining their game. Well, and they're so-called experts, and yeah. they're touted as that. I yeah. mean, the magazine will have them in there. And they're charging like two thousand dollars, five thousand dollars an hour for what? Probably Nobody's... more than that. Well, they're trying to work with the pain. It's so strange. They're yeah, just it is strange to work with the pain. It is strange. Who do these people think well, they the are to work with the pain? I mean, I can't believe this stuff. Use I a mean... baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> no, but think about think about that. Everyone has a swing coach. All the pros, when all they really need is to find out where the cause of the pro cause of the problem. There you go. But that's where the, is that's the, cause? the secret right there. Yeah, we can remove all of this stuff. And you know something? The industry that makes the clubs, they should put a sticker and say, see Dr. Pinozo to know how to use this cup correctly. <laughs> well, here it is. I hear that music, Frey. What does that mean? We got Another go. Sunday uh, that went by so well, fast. Again, thanks, thank thanks, you, Dr. Pinozo. Thanks so much, fellas. I appreciate it. And again, folks, if you want to make an appointment with Dr. Pinozo, call Monday morning. He will answer the phone. You can call him at 561. 381 5800. And you, all your golfers, you want to make some more money on the golf course? Call Dr. Pinozo. Again, thank you so much. Have a great Sunday. Have a great week. Have a great week too. This has been the Dr. Pinozo Sports and Medicine Hour with Dr. Anthony Pinozo. If you spend five minutes with Dr. Pinozo, you'll see he genuinely enjoys helping others. Visit Dr. Pinozo online at www.paincentersnationwide.com. Or call him at 561-381-5800. Dr. Pinozo will consult with you to determine the best solution to your pain needs. 561-381-5800 is the number to call, even if it's just for a second opinion. Join Dr. Pinozo next week when he brings you more important information on the physics of weight-bearing and engineer concepts for the body.